Kapiti Kota, a coast artist, says she's booked up for weeks after publicity about her work creating replica miniature pets has gone global. Diana Stephen started making pet mementos using needles, wool and wire about 18 months ago after she contracted a nasty virus and doctors said rest. Since then her business heart felties has well had international publicity and orders have come from as far away as London. The reaction that I get is really, really overwhelming um, and, I, and that was something that I certainly wasn't expecting when I first started out. Um, I, I also didn't really intend that my, my work would be so great in, in the memory area and um, doing replicas of people who, who'd lost their, their pets. So, um, yeah, the, you know, people cry when they come to pick up their animals or, or you know, sometimes I'll, I'll be sending them and, and the, the messages that I receive, it just, you know, it makes, it makes my job very worthwhile. It's a very satisfying line of work to be doing. Yes. Mm. Now, now, without giving away secrets, but in general terms, so you're felting, right? Yes, it's dry needle felting. Yeah, and mm. then and what and what are you building, the the the, the little fellows around? So what? Okay, so what I what I start off with is a, a wire armature. So that is um, a wire structure that are the pr proportions of of the, of the beast that I'm making, and and then I'll wrap. Uh, pipe cleaners around that so that the the wool can grip onto that, and and then it's just basically a case of wrapping wool around and stabbing with with the needle. And and the colours match the colours of the of the pet, the animal that you are replicating. Yeah, they do. So I mean that that's the artistic side for me that um I'm I'm challenging myself with looking at what colours, and, and actually it's not just the colours, John, it's what type of fibre suits that, that animal's fur the best. So, I mean, I, I mainly work in wool, but I also use alpaca and mohair, angora, silk, bamboo, you know, and a number of different fibres. The really important thing is is that these fibres need to have the barbs on, the, on each piece of the fibre. Uh, you know, imagine if you look... And a, under a microscope, piece of human hair, how it's got those, um, the shaggy, the not, not shaggy, um, the, the fibre, the the barbs on on the actual fibre itself, and so that's what's really important. Gosh, is it really labour intensive? Oh, it's, it's hugely labour intensive. How, how long? Say. How long per replica? Oh, at least two, if not three days. Of work, yeah, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of stabs, in and out, and it's you know you need to have good patience to be doing what I do. Yes, <laughs> yeah, and an attention to detail that's really important as well. Yeah, you know, um, and, and why do you think they work? Is because you know taxi do me. I mean, I don't forgive me if you're listening to this interview and you've had a pet done by a taxidermist, but they just scare the hell out of me. Taxidermied pets because yeah. they look so thoroughly dead, don't well, they? Well, funnily enough, John, um, a couple of years ago I had a temporary job as a taxidermy artist. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the ironic thing about yes. what I was led to now. But uh, taxidermists. In New Zealand, particularly, don't like to to stuff pets. No, um, well, 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 that's what that's what it is, isn't it? It's a stuff mm, pet. Whereas mm. what, what whereas what yours is is this that the, the the cuteness, the sense of I don't know what makes pets joyful is mm. somehow innate in your replicas, right? Yeah, I think so. And I mean, I'm not just trying to copy what that breed looks like I'm actually trying to copy that specific animal to and and even try and capture their character and their personality I use a lot of um, photo references to to work from and I'm constantly looking at those and it's also really great for my customers to give me a good description of what their pet was like because um, that, that really helps me I guess I kind of feel it as I go they're absolutely delightful, those things. You can see them on our website, those photos on our website.